we are serving up food for thought this morning. Something to keep in mind the next time you're preparing a meal. Have you ever wished for a utensil or cookware that's not even on the market? If you don't try to turn your idea into something concrete, you may miss out. Our next guest is an expert at helping people find a better way to get their ideas to market. Meet George Davison, CEO and founder of Davison. Welcome back. Hey, thank you for having me. Okay, I can tell you, I have been thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking. Zero. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Do ideas just come naturally to people? Well, to some people, but it, yours will come. Just okay. a matter of time. Keep inspired. <laughs> it'll, it'll finally pop. We'll see. And really, when something does pop, I think, like you say all the time, you should really dare to invent, like you do in your, your webisode series, that yes. you take an idea and don't give up on it. No, no, why? I mean, life is too short. We only get so much time on this planet, so let's this make the true. best of it. And you have a great story of a woman. <laughs> what do you call her? Jean Jean, the meatball queen. Jean Jean, the meatball queen. <laughs> she really did something so simple and wow. Yes, it's fabulous. It's, it's all the way around healthier eating, helped her husband. Everything's a win-win-win all the way around the Yeah, story. and got a little bit of money along the way. Let's take a look. Jean Reinfuss is a mother and grandmother who loves to cook meatballs for her family. Even though her meatballs were delicious, they've always been really greasy. My husband, Donald, he loves meatballs, yes. And of course we all do. We all love them. And getting more and more frustrated with the way they were turning out because they are greasy all the time. I almost threw the pan in the sink. I was so mad at him. Jean wants to find a new way to cook healthy meatballs. She loves her husband, and she wants to be able to satisfy those meatball cravings he has. Well, the way we've been cooking meatballs hasn't changed in years. As a result, more and more people have been having health problems related to fat-filled diets. The challenge? Create a whole new healthy approach to cooking meatballs. First thing, uh, it was a food project. Sweet, what better thing to do? I don't want to do anything that's under a car or on top of an animal. I'd rather work on something that has to do with food. We picked Joey as the lead creationeer for Gene's idea. He had to create an inexpensive product that would make it easy and affordable for anyone to cook healthy, taste-tempting meatballs. You know, staring at the oven, actually looking at an oven to see what are we going to do for this. There's an oven rack in there. That oven rack, if we can actually sculpt those pieces so that it's actually part of the pan where you've got a rack to bake on. Joey came up with a two-part baking pan. The top pan would hold the meatballs. The bottom pan would then catch all that grease. It now cooked many other foods in a cleaner, healthier, low-fat way. I was amazed at how they took my idea and turned it into something that was more versatile than what I had said. With a new design complete, we decided to put Gene's invention to the test. So here we are, we are cooking meatballs. We've got meatballs cooked in their own fat, and we have meatballs baked in the meatball baker. Here, take a look at this. That is what normally would be saturating these meatballs. Oh, yeah. Nummy. <laughs> we should test them, so. Yeah, no, no. Why? We're not gonna taste test them, we're gonna grease test them. Yeah, but the taste is what's important, so I think that we need to do a taste test. We'll do both. You know, this really isn't what I had in mind when I said to test this. Tastes greasy. That meatball was uh, definitely at the heart attack hitman line. Well, there's my grease test. How's that taste test? I think we're gonna have to test more meatballs. All right. All right, here's the healthier one from the meatball baker. I I'm, r I'm ready for one that's not quite so greasy. Look, there's no grease. Check that out. Look, we're not even out of, out of chest pain circle here. This That's is the way to go. No more skillet. We're baking all of our meatballs. That's way better. We invested a lot of time and hard work in that redesign, and it ended up paying off. Gene's idea was licensed by Extraordinary Home Products, and it went into production. I was at somebody's house, and I was just so excited after I had the phone call that I said, oh my god, you won't believe what happened to me. The meatball baker was a sizzling success. Every time they put it on QVC, it sold out. Now we're very, very busy on the phone lines. We invited Jean and her husband Donald to Invention Land, 
and celebrated her success by serving an Italian-style dinner with a special course. Luigi. You like it. Oh, my God. That's oh, my your, God. That's your very first royalty <laughs> check. And it's sold out every time they put it on QVC. It is amazing. I couldn't be happier for Jean. I mean, I know the feelings that she's going through. At one time, I was just like her, a guy with an idea. And when you get to have that moment of seeing it and now the product on the shelf, it's just something that you can't really put into words. Oh my God. I was very happy with the fact that I had a pan that I could actually make them in. Here, on an end cap. Holy crap. Look at this. My mom invented this. I'm a grandmother and I'm an inventor. And I think that's something to be proud of. High five, Ma. All right. Darn right, something to be proud of. How many has she sold? Over 100,000. Oh, my goodness gracious. And something just out of the necessity of her husband's health. That's right. And that's where a lot of ideas, you know, they all start from somewhere. All right, let's cheer to her, her cheer ideas. Her. To Jean. And to me daring a little bit more? That too. Okay. You'll take a chance on me? Absolutely. Oh, I love you. Thank you, George. And to find out more about Dare to Invent or get started with your own idea, visit Davison.com. That's spelled D-A-V-I-S-O-N.com. You know, it's 5 o'clock somewhere, right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm.